Helping Hawaii's Homeless Through Film. That's the inspiration of filmmaker Rex Moribe, who joins us in studio to discuss his documenta documentary, uh, Dear Talia. Thank you guys so much uh, for joining us. Of course, the family of, that's in the film this morning as well. Uh, Rex, what inspired you to take on this film? Uh, growing up on Kauai, there was one homeless person, and his name was Jeff. And he sat in front of our surf spot, and we actually named a surf spot after him called Jeffrey's Bay. So when I moved here to Oahu in 98, I was blown away of how much homeless people there were. And I always loved film, and only till this day I finally said, you know what, somebody needs to sit down and actually show their story. And that's what inspired this. And of course, the Martin family uh, is subject of, of this film. Uh, before we get to them, uh, for you, what went into the process as far as making a film? Because again, it's, it's not easy, so it takes money, takes time. Right. You know, uh, tell me about that. Um, I basically, I do have like a small business. I funneled that money, the profits from that to funnel half of it. And then after that, everything went into credit cards. So everybody works, everybody waits for that perfect unicorn rainbow day to make something happen. I said, I'm just going to do it already. And that's when I met them at a conference and I said, do you guys want to make this happen? And then that's when the credit cards just started going. And that's why the Kickstarter, I actually wasn't going to do a Kickstarter until I started doing the math and I realized how much money I spent. Yeah. Well, the film named after uh, the beautiful, cute Talia over there. Uh, Dad, let's talk to you real quick. Uh, you, you were obviously, this, this is a, an emotional uh, film mm -hmm. and you guys are uh, center of it. What was the process like for you guys uh, being part of a documentary like this where, you know, documenting the hardships, I can't believe that it was easy at all. No, it wasn't easy. Um, me and my wife had a long discussion uh, when this was taking part, when Rex approached us. And at the time, we had already made up our mind that we were going to fight for the homeless because of what we knew and what the public didn't know. And we thought that Rex would be a good way to bring awareness to the state on what's going on, so. And uh, of course, mom, Tabitha works, but uh, Tracy, you guys are trying to make an honest living and, mm -hmm. and put everything together. Recently, you moved off the streets, but it's, it's an ongoing fight, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's hard with just my wife working. Uh, we're pretty much um, not sure about our living arrangement, you know? Uh, Rex, you had mentioned that there is a Kickstarter available right, right now. Now, this doesn't just go to funding the film. It's also to get distributed, yeah, distributed yeah. which is so important, yeah. you know, so that people can see their story. How do, you, how do we go about seeing the film? Yes, yeah, so 5,000 was the goal. We hit that in two and a half days, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. 10,000 is the total amount of bills I created. Yeah. Everything after that goes up in co uh, into post-production, which is sound mixing, color correction, color grading. And then everything after that goes into film festivals, distribution. I plan on doing at least six months to a year and just going for film festivals. You know, big dreams, maybe Sundance in Utah. That take, costs money yeah. to fly the family there if we do get accepted. So um, people have been asking where the money goes. It's 100% to the film, which is to create awareness. If they still want to directly impact the family, you can find the family sometimes they're in Kakaoako, or there's a lot of great nonprofits you can just hand out to. So, but the Kickstarter itself is for the film. Again, I wish we had so much more time. Uh, we will have a detailed segment later on in uh, tonight's news on KITV4. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining us.